Man, I let me tell you, I'm feeling for you right now. I haven't had that kind of test anxiety since the <laughs> SAT. And Deb Wiener, what did you go through the encyclopedia for those? Let, I think you, just give Jerry the rest of the day off. Listen, we're having a good time here in the grandstand. I uh, had a chance to meet with uh, Lance Gassaway, a really good guy. He is one of the co owners and co breeders for Mystic Dan. I said to him, I was like, Yeah, I, I like the weather. He's like, it's great weather. And I said, Great weather? And he said, Well, it's not 98. And like Tom said, we've had everything in Baltimore lately. So as far as temperature goes, the folks with Mystic Dan, they're ready to go. I asked him about the big decision of coming here to Baltimore and also what it's like for an owner the day before the big race. Tell me about today, just getting ready for this moment. What's it like? Yeah, it's, you know, it's just exciting, just enjoying all, everything that's going on here, all the all the crowd and uh, and the, and the uh, Black Eyed Susans. Yeah, right, right, can't go <laughs> yeah, wrong. That's right. Tell me about the decision to make the trip to Baltimore. I know that was a tough one. Yeah, you know, we were just worried about the horse after the race. And uh, we was concerned with his health. And uh, the first night afterwards, he didn't eat all his food up. So when we come back the next day, a few days, we started watching him closer, started eating all his food, started working real good. We had Robbie on him okay. and just started coming around. We thought he'd be ready. Does the owner sleep? the day before the Preakness. <laughs> you know, I actually slept pretty good last night, but uh, you know, it was, uh, nerves are starting to build a little bit now. Yeah. Uh, Wishing you luck, man. Thank you. Good to meet you. Thank you. And remember when I told you that we'll put the Maryland flag on just about anything, I am mesmerized by this horse. I've been watching it all day. Not only does it have the blanket in the back, I don't know if you can see the front. Uh, it, it has a Maryland flag in the front, and then it's like their ear warmers as well that complete the Maryland motif. I mean, you got to coordinate, and the horse has done it. I'm kind of surprised Deb Wiener didn't have it on her little quiz for Jerry Sandusky, what do horses wear when they're finally dressed at the <laughs> Preakness. Jerry, man, I'm telling you, she owes you big for that quiz. That was that was little just quiz. evil. Oh, that wasn't little Jason? quiz. Jason? Yes, ma'am. Listen, Mr. City. Listen, Mr. City High School. I know you could have City passed college. it with flying color. <laughs> city College. Okay, City I mean, College. Listen, I just we did have that some... to test you. Hey, listen. I can. Oh. City forever. We praise her to the sky. Like I don't even sing. I'll sing that all day. Deb Wiener, back to you. That was. <laughs>